Hey everyone welcome to Error Tycoon. If your Windows 11 keeps showing no DHCP server found, this quick fix will save your connection, let's get your internet working again right now. The first method involves enabling DHCP via the network adapter settings. Start by right-clicking on the start menu, then select run and type npar.corporal, corporal. Next, right-click on your active adapter and choose properties. Look for the option labeled Internet Protocol version 4, TCP, IPv4, and select it. Click on Properties and ensure that the option to obtain an IP address automatically is checked, as well as the option to obtain DNS server address automatically. After that, click OK, close everything, and restart your computer. The next method is to restart the DHCP client service. To do this, click on Search and Type Services. Open the Services window and find the DHCP client service. Right-click on it and select Properties. Make sure the startup type is set to Automatic. If it's not, click the drop-down menu and choose Automatic. If the service status shows stopped, click on Start. If it's already running, just leave it. Click Apply, then OK, close the services window, and see if the problem is resolved. If the issue continues, you may need to reset Winsock and TCP IP. To do this, click on Search and type CMD. Right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator, then click Yes. Check the video description for the commands you need to run. Execute these commands one at a time, copy the first line, paste it into the command prompt, and hit enter. Then copy the second line, paste it, and hit enter again. Repeat this for the next lines, copy, paste, and press enter. After running all the commands, close all tasks and restart your computer. Check if the error still appears. If it does, you should update your network driver. Right-click on the network adapter and choose Uninstall Device. Click on Uninstall. After that, close the device manager and restart your computer. Then check if the issue is resolved. The network adapter will reinstall automatically during the restart. Next, disable proxy settings. Click on Start. Select Settings. Navigate to Network and Internet. Click on Proxy. Automatically detect settings. Turn off this option. For manual proxy setup, click on Setup and ensure that this is turned off. Click on Save. Check your internet connection and see if the issue is resolved. If the problem persists, run the network troubleshooter. To do this, click on Start, select Settings, select System, scroll down and click on Troubleshoot. Click on the other troubleshooters option for network and internet. Click on Run. Follow the prompts in this app and check if the issue is resolved. Sometimes, issues with the router can lead to this a DHCP error. Restarting the router might help. Turn off your router using the power button or by unplugging it. Wait for about 30 seconds. Then turn on the router and wait for all the indicator lights to stabilize. After that, reconnect your computer to the Wi-Fi network. The next step is to temporarily disable your antivirus and firewall. Click on Search. Type Security. Click on Windows Security. Select a virus and threat protection. Click on Manage Settings. For virus and threat protection settings, turn off all these options and then check if the no DCP server found error is resolved. If it's not resolved, turn on all the settings and go to Firewall Network Protection. Go to Public Network and turn off Microsoft Defender Firewall. Click on Yes. Check if the error is resolved. If it's still not fixed by disabling the firewall, turn this setting back on. Do the same for the private network. And for the domain network, close the window security settings. Lastly, uninstall any third-party antivirus or VPN applications. If you have any third-party VPN or third-party antivirus program running, then uninstall those. To remove a third-party antivirus program, just right-click on the Start menu, choose Installed Apps, and look for the antivirus or VPN program you want to uninstall. Let's say this is the third-party antivirus. Click on the three dots next to it, then select Uninstall. Confirm by clicking on Install in the pop-up window. If an uninstall wizard shows up, just follow the on-screen steps until it's all done, then close the settings and restart your computer. After that, check if the problem is resolved. That's it, folks. Thanks for tuning into the video.